Hello everyone and uh, welcome to uh, a Friday afternoon with, uh, with me, Tristan Bailey at Holding Bay. Um, we work with uh, B2B companies and manufacturing companies um, and today I thought I'd do some teardowns for you, um, review some other websites uh, and see how companies are getting things uh, uh, right or wrong. Um, mostly right but uh, there's always opportunity to improve um, so let's take a look at the first website. So first, uh, we're going to uh, pick up on this one, uh, Tungaloy. Um, so they work on uh, milling, drilling, turning uh, parts and materials. And uh, just have a look at their website now. Um, feeling is, is nice and clean and uh, uh, fresh. It's, uh, it's not maybe the, the most modern website or anything that we've been um, looking at recently. Um, but it's certainly nice and clean. And we get straight into the point um, on the home page, which is nice to see. There's not um, a, a big load of, uh, of branding and uh, uh, distracting uh, stock imagery. Uh, we've got straight into um, technical handbooks, um, request, request a copy of the catalogue, uh, free trial. So we've, we've got straight into some good actionable items. Um, uh, the, the, the print material is, is, is laid out a lot nicer. Um, than, than the pages specifically, but that's what you want to see. You want to be able to have a good actionable website and get straight in there. Um, even a nice big video from our friends at, at Swarf and Chips in there of uh, uh, looking at their products and, and getting into, into some detail. Um, so that's, that's a pretty good start with the, with the homepage. There's probably quite a lot on there. Um, it does feel a bit like it's a, a sort of regular update uh, and it's probably after you've gone about past like three or four of these um, you're probably not going to get into um, everything else. So um, I'd say, yeah, it could, could trim it down and make it a little bit more readable from that point of view. Um, but certainly there's, there's plenty to, to jump into uh, from there. Um, so let's like, pick up on some, some products and see uh, what other sort of details have they got. Product pages, I always feel, is the, uh, the life of, uh, of the website, what's, uh, what's available and what's working there. Um, compared to the home page is, is sort of a, a direction finder. Um, it's signposting what, what is there, what is going on. Um, but we've got nice and clear. We've got, we've got telephone numbers and contact details straight away. Um, so that's another key aspect we, we look for and, and recommend with, uh, with customers as, as sort of table stakes with this um, is we go to the, the about us. Question is, can we find out a bit of history bit of stuff about the staff and the management, um, capabilities, uh, and, and how to get there, map directions and um, pieces like that. Uh, if we need to, to get in contact and we need to, to find the place, then, um, then that's good. Um, and we've got a, a straight away there, we've got into the address. Um, we've got some, some details about the business. Uh, and and oh, so there was left for a, a, a map uh, and some details on the branding. Um, and even then they're going to go back off into other useful things, which we, once we found this out, might be useful to uh, encourage us to keep keep digging around. So um, I think that's a, it's a good start for a, for a page on About Us. Um, and then twinned with the About Us, the Contact Us. Now, again, before I get to it, I um, do like to see if it's possible to have an address and details on there too, um, because some people go to About Us to see sort of background rather than an address and contact details. Contact Us is very, obviously very clear on, on that. Um, but primarily we want to go further than just here's a telephone number, here's an email address. We want to give uh, some constructive way of, of filling in information. So here we go, we got straight into, into this. Um, possibly a, a little bit more variety could be good with um, introducing the page and, and what sort of information you're looking at from a, from a customer. Because um, we're going straight into full sort of addresses uh, and, uh, and names. So if this was just a short um, inquiry, um, opening hours or something else like this, uh, chasing a delivery, then um, it's probably quite a lot of information. Uh, so maybe flavour it a little bit more. Um, cool. Uh, let's see if we got these uh, products in now to get into those. Um, see if this one's loaded now. Cool. So um, we were we were looking at the uh, different turning. Um, so let's get some um, some inserts. Got our cookie uh, piece come back up again. Um, uh, looks like we've we've jumped out of, of the uh, the UK website and over onto the American website, but we'll we'll keep going for, from that point of view. 
we should have a cookie message on the uh, on the UK site too uh, for GDPR compliance. Um, but drilling in there, let's have a pick of products and see what sort of details and things we can get. So we've got some nice clear imagery. Go into a video. It's all good. Um, applications. Um, not sure whether that's a key, just a key or whether we could get a bit more um, spec and details on that. Um, so we've got um, we've got some good uh, details of pulling into that. Um, yeah, some specs and uh, the difference between the different uh, tooling and then yeah, this is the piece that we're sort of looking at um, was what what grading and specs have we got, what tolerances. Um, so that's that's good to, to be able to get into. So that's all that's all good. We got some downloads. We've got some downloads of the catalogs, Imperial Metric. Um, let's just take a quick look, um, see how that comes down. Or if we've got to, uh, we've got to go and search off for that. So that's not quite as good. I was hoping to, to jump straight into uh, uh, a catalog. So we'll leave that one for now. Um, but certainly being able to have have that information is is very useful. Um, so that's that's our first little mini review for for the UK uh, uh, Tungaloy website. Uh, so see uh, see what else we can get into. Uh, next one up, uh, line sense. We've got fire detection, so linear heat detection. Um, so this is this is into uh, like a category page, so like uh, different types of of cabling. Um, so let's have a look what sort of stuff we've got in here. We've got um, approvals, ratings against a different product, features and applications, and the technical specs. That's what we'd like to see. Being able to, to get the information straight there, um, go up into the uh, into the PDFs. So that's good, um, and then pulls out into a contact us uh, at the bottom. It's, it's perfectly serviceable to have uh, just a direct contact us. Um, they've come into that product. They don't have to go off to, to another page. That's the um, we're hoping that's the intent. They want to get in contact a bit more, but um, we could flavour that up a little bit of uh, uh, what what are we doing to um, to connect the product to, to this form? Is it specifically on that that product that we're getting conversation on? Um, let's go back to the home page like we did on the previous website. So again, we very very big and clear. Get get the the phone number and details for, um, and that's that's often what we see, especially people driving around. People are busy. Um, they just don't remember their contact details, and they've searched for the website. And they're just needing the phone number. Um, they're not going to treat everything through the website. Um, but anything you can serve through your website, it's going to save people time, and uh, it's going to got a, a better effect better reliability rather than uh, only working sort of office hours or um, staff availability. <coughs> so we've got uh, some different different categories. Um, we've got research department, um, approvals. Again, a lot of this stuff's quite um, quite big and clear. Um, got our, our cookie policy, um, but the uh, on, on the screen this side anyway what I'm looking at it, it could be nice to um, get everything down a little bit smaller just so I get get more of a sense of it all at once um, let's have a look on there contact us page see what we're getting so contact us yeah we've got the the address and and the and the form so middle of the page we want people to use the form could be a little bit more tailored as to um, what the inquiry is help help uh, route the route the conversation inside the business um, but serviceable, it's it's in there. Um, we could have gone into the the map directions and uh, a bit more detail um, uh, how to how to visit them in Reading if if that's appropriate. Um, but maybe they don't take uh, take visitors on that site. Um, so that's that one. And lastly, I thought we'd have a look at uh, Pelly products, uh, and they the one we're looking at at the moment is their laptop hard cases. Uh, so they've got a little bit more of a um, slightly more consumer facing. Uh, I'm sure that most of their product is is uh, it's a business need, but um, there there's a bit more um, sort of consumer branding, a bit more uh, a bit more sell, a bit more creativity around um, uh, the what it is available and what's the features. Um, 
I've got some nice big clear um, product shots and some pricing. Um, so unlike the other products we were looking at, um, these ones are, are available with a price without having to uh, uh, get on the telephone and, and, and make a, an invoiced order. Um, so we've got a uh, product, different different range of, of sizes and shapes of uh, photographs. Um, key values pulled out, nice big title. Uh, and then we do have a, a PDF specifications um, if we want to understand, because um, what, what are they claiming of this one? Um, it's their storm line and a lightweight and secure. Um, so what have we got? Uh, We've got accessories and the specs. Um, so we've got waterproof, crush proof, dust proof. Uh, it'd be nice to see if we're going all the way into a, uh, the idea of this is print off and keep um, to get more of the, um, uh, the credibility, the, the qualifiers for, for why is it um, uh, so good at, at um, supporting these things. Um, they've got a big, big third party uh, um, credibility of, of plenty of reviews from customers. Um, it's always good to share if you've got um, uh, reviews or testimonials from, from other people or uh, trusted sources in the news and the press, uh, maybe awards um, uh, arrangements. It gives people an understanding of, of your standing as one company versus another. I mean, as we're seeing, I'm, uh, these are obviously quite different products, but I'm just clicking through um, these different things that they haven't had the context of, of meeting them um, being presented in a different way. So um, it is all about what you can present here and what you can give over. Um, before someone's met. But anyway, that was our quick little roundup today, um, looking at a few websites um, selling uh, selling good physical goods uh, in that business space. So uh, thanks for your time. I've been uh, Tristan Bailey, and uh, we'll look forward to catching up with you again.